Good morning, Tucson. This is God's Random Act of Kindness Show. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing this morning? It is Friday morning, and we we are looking forward to a great weekend. Um, You know, I had made a a podcast earlier, and it was about riches, true riches, and uh, I spent a couple days working on it, and I I laid it down and, and put it together, and, you know, I listened to it, and... For some reason, God made me feel like I needed to pull it. So it was on like for a day and, you know, had a few views. But uh, um, I'm just got to be honest with you. I'm not running the show. I am not running the show. There's been many times I've put put together podcasts and God didn't like them. And then it didn't even, I couldn't even transfer them into YouTube. Uh, The Father is, is truly involved. And it's his show, not mine. He reminds me constantly of that. And uh, and and God is real, everybody. God is real. And he wants to have a personal relationship with you. And this morning, he gave me the feeling that uh, he wanted me to teach people how to... Uh, how to dive into the scriptures. And so um, I think that is an exciting topic, to be honest with you, because uh, how else are you supposed to grow? And the other thing, too, is is like, I don't know if you guys know the parable of the seed, um, but I encourage you to look it up. Uh, look it up in your Bibles, find out where it's at, and then, and then you'll get what I'm saying. Um, it's our job to plant seeds, but it's God's job to water the seeds and grow them and give them the light and, and the love. And, and that's what he does when you go to the scriptures is um, all I'm doing is just simply um, hopefully igniting something beautiful in your heart that makes you want to seek out God and, and, and learn about the Bible because it's so full of good stuff. And then if you can find things more, you're not, you know, where the where these books are and, and you know, Learn about different places to um, access information to help uh, give you strength during tough times. And and you'll have uh, something extremely special to turn to. But understand, I'm doing nothing. All I'm doing is giving you a basic idea of how to, uh, you know, kind of flip around the Bible. But God is going to water that seed and he's going to make it grow in your heart where you're going to want to get to know him better. And you're going to want to get to know his ancestors, all his all his key players that that, um, you know, that helps start uh, Christianity. And and then the story of our beautiful Savior, Jesus, and, and Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and and Paul and his amazing plight and and change from horrible guy to amazing worshiper disciple for god and daniel the mr cool who you know had so much faith and uh joshua the guy that could turn lemons into lemonade and and in any situation and uh and there's just so many amazing ancestors and when you dive into the scriptures you, you almost like get to know them personally because of their their life stories and and then we've done podcasts about that i encourage you to look that up um you are writing your own life story so when you do that um i want you to think about like you're part of the bible sort of you know you're you're part of the future bible the you're part of your future when you present your soul to god and uh, so when you do that um you want to make sure that you're giving the best presentation you possibly can because we love our father and we want to please him. We want to make him smile when he calls us home. And we never know when that could be. It could be tomorrow or it could be, you know, 50 years from now. But it doesn't matter because Christians are are ready to go at any time. And uh, so you're going to look at um, your life differently than most people. You're going to be on a different plane, um, really. You're going to be looking at life like, where's my next opportunity to help my brother and help him get to know God? And where's my, God, how can I please you and make you happy today? And, and, and God, I'm here seeking you. Tell me more about you and tell me, um, you know, how I can live my life better. And, and then show me, Father, through your scriptures. Talk to me. And, and that's what the Bible is all about. It is so much about that. It's, it's like this um, mine of treasures that are just waiting for you to be di- to be discovered, and and, uh, and and then put them into your application, and and, and you're going to do that by putting them into practice in your life, you know, and and the wisdom and the understanding that you're going to get from it is crazy cool, but it's nothing that I'm doing. It's some God's show. God's random act of kindness is simply calling you to look to the scriptures and to learn more about the Bible. Oh, is Dan excited today? Yes, he is. Marshall Boone, should I say? That's my. Uh, 
my stage character name, but uh, I'm Dano. Uh, um, and Mikey it was it is my 14 year old golden doodle. Um, uh, you know, he's a diabetic alert dog, and he's he's um, hanging out in his uh, his golden years with my son, who he kept alive uh, while he slept all night long, and he would alert him throughout the day to keep him. Um, you know, uh, feeling good and having the best chance of growing up. So now he's, he's with him now. And, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm doing the show alone now. So, but, um, uh, it's his best good. And, uh, you know, sometimes God allows those things to happen. It's been tough. I got to tell you guys, but, uh, if you've been praying for me, thank you. Uh, it's hard to give up your best buddy, but, uh, anyways, um, God does not want us to, um, stop serving him out of love and that's why we do it and so this morning's show is all about the bible let's stay on track god does not want this show to be about me so let's continue on um as we seek in the bible you know what we're doing is is we're looking for insights on how to become more like christ so being like christ-like god-like is what the the key central idea of the whole thing is. So, because when we become more like our Father, then we actually have this um, just great uh, feeling of um, accomplishment that only God can give us. You know that you're doing right, Dan. Oh, you're keep it up. You know, even though it's hard. You know, trust in me. Have faith. I'm building your faith in those hard, hard life challenging times. Don't give up. And I'm encouraging everybody out there. Don't give up. Give it your best. Give it your best all. And, and when you get in trouble where you're thinking you can't do it and you don't even see a way and how things can work out, lay it down to God and he'll He'll work it out because he's got the big picture, you know. And um, understand uh, he will meet all your needs, but they may not always be in the way that you think they should be met, you know. And uh, he is the God of even better. And there's definitely a possibility of him blessing you amazingly. But it's also you learn something when you don't have a lot, when you've given everything back to him. It, it's a uh, it's more of a dependency that you understand that we are all dependent upon God because sometimes when you have so much, you think you're – I know you don't – people don't actually think this, but they can – act this out when you've been blessed with a lot then you don't need to look to god for much do you know what i mean and so you just go on sunday and maybe you'll go through the motions but when you're super poor and you don't know where your next dollar is going to come from or your next uh uh you know food item or water or whatever there's so many people in need right now uh please um the, the the dependency that you have when that happens it really takes you um strides forward with God because he'll always come through come through for you because you're a child of God and so that makes you different uh, makes you special and so I encourage all the people that are not children of God yet um, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior pick up your cross and start walking towards God home and uh, he'll give you everything you need in your life now if you're struggling you don't have a place to live you're struggling you don't have a job um, there are many services 211 out there you dial that up and they'll give you all kinds of ideas and to get you back on your feet. ICS uh, will help you uh, with your job searching. And uh, there's a lot of services out there that will help you um, if you need uh, medical attention, uh, physical or mental. Um, there's a lot of good stuff out there for you. Don't give up. Um, look to the services that are out there for your help, especially um, – uh, through 211, you'll be able to find out all that information. Gospel Rescue Mission will help you um, if you don't have a place to stay. And I, I'm, you know, I hope, you know, here we go, people. I hope people are listening that um, that can benefit from that information. Now, if um, obviously a lot of my listeners don't need that, so you can share that information with people on the street. You know that they can go to Gospel Rescue Mission in Tucson and uh, get there early on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, camp out before and. Uh, you know, they have 400 rooms there and, and they're always busy and full, but um, clothes and, and job training and all kinds of great stuff there. Uh, so we have to be a resource to the um, needy. And uh, so there's lots of ways of helping people, not just with your dough. You can help them with your words, um, but more importantly, you need to help them with your prayers. So stay right with God and then God will, um, he loves it when there's, uh, when you pray for someone uh, in a selfless way. And, uh, and that's what it's all about is loving each other. And then um, we in turn are demonstrating our Christ-like and God-like um, love to God. And, and it makes them so happy. And so 
Come on, everybody. Uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Uh, don't slow down now. Um, the world needs us. Uh, your town needs you and your family needs you. Uh, we cannot turn a blind eye to someone in need. And usually when those needs happen, those wonderful random opportunities that are not random, uh, they're in the most inconvenient time. So I want you, when that happens, I want you to think about that. So slow down, um, help that person in need, whatever it may be. And then, um, and then that's how God calls. And so the scriptures are the same way. If you spend your time every morning, um, a lot of people avoid the scriptures because they just don't know, um, what it means for them. Uh, the Bible is the most amazing way of, of seeking and getting to know God. And so when you apply the scripture um, principles, then they become even more rich and meaningful in your life. And they become this, this great source of strength for you to help others with. And that's what it's all about, you know. So we got to pay attention. And uh, you can pay attention through the word. And, and that's, uh, that's what you need to do. And, um, and, and a lot of times uh, God has to do these miraculous acts to get our attention. And like he did with Moses, he, um, when, they, when he first called Moses, he did it with a burning bush that wouldn't be burned. And, and that was very odd. And then God's voice called out from within this bush. And he, it was clearly that he, God wanted Moses to notice him and to hear him. And so he did that in this miraculous way. And we all know what Moses ended up doing, you know, did this incredible uh, service for God by helping free his people from Egypt. And God did this amazing, amazing uh, act of taking care of two million Hebrews, uh, fed them and gave them water out of a rock miraculously and gave them clothing and and he gave, he got the Egyptians to give all their goodies to him before they left, and and then he saved them by opening, uh, parting the Red Sea, and then closing it and fighting for him. And he, it's big stuff, guys. It's big stuff. And so you've got to remember that the Lord is real. He fights for us, and and if you're in desperate need, he'll he'll fight for you. But be faithful. So that means you need to stay close to God and you need to read your scriptures. Even in the worst times, you've got to rely on him that he'll he'll help you. Boy, am I talking up a storm. I hope I'm not talking too fast, but I don't know, for some reason, I'm really excited today. I, I just feel really good. So I want to pass that on to you right now. Um, so um, often our father is trying to speak to us, and, and but the trick is, is to be able to listen because it just seems like, you know, how do you listen to God and how do you hear his voice? Well, I just think you need to understand through Scripture, God will communicate to you. Um, the Bible is God's living word, and he will use that Bible to speak to his children of God, and he's going to do it with you. So that's why I feel this show is so important. That's why I feel that you should keep on listening. We've got so much more good stuff to share with you in the future. I know God is going to um, uh, give me lots of great insights to uh, to give you some biblical reading um, and habits and uh and uh, just a good old uh, fashion goal setting to become closer to him. And um, like, you know, there's a verse that would really be great for you. Psalm 119 verse 18 is a great verse to prepare your heart before reading scripture. Um, it goes like this. It says, open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. You may be surprised when the Lord applies something in a passage to your life that it's spirits that opens up your eyes to understand. We popped out the scripture, but the verse was, Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. Okay, we're trying to open our eyes. We've got to open our heart. Um, the second thing we must do is obey that word. So you've got to obey God's messages. So it's important. Obedience is so important. Remember, um, uh, you know, when God gave Moses that burning bush, um, he says, Now come, and I will send you to the Pharaoh so that you may bring my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. That's Exodus uh, chapter 3, verse 10. Moses, like, initially objected. We call him the reluctant hero. He's like, what? But check it out. I mean, that is a pretty big thing to say that's going to happen. Who am I, Lord? I'm an 80-year-old man, and you want me to go to the, to the most powerful person in the world and tell him to free, my, free your people. Well, that's exactly what Lord wanted him to do, and and he didn't want Aaron to do it. I mean, he even tried to pawn it off on Aaron. Hey, you should pick Aaron. He's much smarter than me. Uh, no, Moses, you're my man. And Moses ended up doing that, and and then he led the people um, out of Egypt. And uh, you know how the story goes. I encourage you to read it, Exodus. Oh my gosh. And that's uh, one of the greatest um, examples of God living with His people and fighting for His people, which He will do again. And someday, when God comes back with Jesus. Um, he's going to bring his new Jerusalem with him. He's going to bring his house with him. And uh, he's going to be with us again. 
And so there's so much to look forward to, even though this world seems so chaotic and so um, who the heck knows what's going to happen, you know. But uh, you can get a, all your peace and all your all your comfort knowing that God's coming back and that you're a child of God and nothing could ever happen to you, even if you do end up, you know, if you lose your life. So um, uh, Christians look forward to going back to be with God and uh, because not because they think they did all these great things, but because they know that love, love conquers all, and that God is love, and that that love is what it's all about that we have for God, and that he chose us, and only by his grace, his grace, his His beautiful, wonderful grace and mercy that we even are thinking about God. So if you're actually thinking about becoming Christian, or if you are a Christian, you just want to dive deeper into being um, what God is trying to to bring you closer to him. And he's going to do that through the scriptures. He's going to do that for through tough times. And those tough times is when you rely on God most. And then when you're poor, you actually have a, a easier chance of depending on him than when you have so much. So understand if you have a lot, give as much as you can to the poor. But understand you're, that's a very hard um, lesson as well because it, it's like you don't need God because you think you've got everything you need and you're you know you're well taken care of. But um, that's when you need to be even more careful that you're not slipping and, and, and not doing the will of God. And so the will of God, I mean, I had a thought today is like, you know, what about the millionaires and the billionaires of this world? Why couldn't they just drop food and uh, grain and water, just buy everything up you can and then and, and airdrop it to the people in Africa and Haiti and who are who are going to be starving. I mean, I know I don't want to bring everybody down. I'm so excited today, but uh, there's so much going on in our world. And then our town, um, all the people that don't have places to live, and then people looking them down on them at the street. Like, don't give them a dollar. They're going to spend it on alcohol or cigarettes or whatever. And, and uh, the fact is, is that... Um, you know, please have mercy for the people that are, are hurting. That was our middle class, and now they're the poverty people and um, can't afford to get a place to live. And then it just keeps going rolling downhill. You know, you don't have a car, can't get a shower, can't you? You know, you know. I mean, it just gets worse and worse. You know how you can get a job, and then your health goes down because you're so upset all the time. And then this and that and this and that and that and this. Please have mercy for the poor. Let's not judge each other. Um, and, uh, oh, and if you're looking for good messages from God, um, uh, when people are like myself are speaking for the Lord, God needs people to do that. And, uh, so go ahead and use your discernment and, and judge me all you want. But, um, the, the great, um, way of checking someone out is to make sure that they're scripturally bound, that the Lord will speak through the scriptures and that they're not teaching you anything. God is going to like the parable of the seed. Let's go back to that. God wants you to to plant seeds, but he'll water them. He'll give them the sunshine and and the love that it needs to grow. And so all we're supposed to do is speak about the Bible and the scriptures and about Jesus. And so I encourage you to do that. You know, I don't know if we're running out of time. Nobody knows when God's going to come back, but um, we want to do everything we can. So I encourage the listeners today. Do everything you can by learning about the Bible, taking time every morning in scripture and prayer. Seek the Lord for a closer relationship so that he can tell you what his will is for you in your life, you know. So um, let's see. uh, What else might be cool to share with you? Hey, this is a big one. You got to trust God no matter what. No matter what. He promised me, trust in me and wait and see, Dano. And... um, I got to be honest with you, things just keep getting worse and worse and worse. But somehow I feel uh, closer and closer and closer and stronger and stronger in faith. I don't get it. But um, things did work out good as far as place to live and and, uh, getting back on my feet after. um, But, uh, you know, we all have health issues. We all have... um, uh, faith issues, and, and God wants us to rely on him. And so I encourage you, if you're going through those um, financial issues, uh, give it to God and he'll work it out for you. He'll give you enough. He'll give you what you need. Um, uh, uh, he encouraged me not to have any idols, to stay close to the, his word, to um, stay close to his um, commandments, and he will, he'll work it out because he's, he's the great father and he has the big picture. And he has not failed me, you guys, not failed me at all. 
but I've had to give up a lot to do that. So I think that all the disciples in the past did the same. And so look to the scriptures, learn about our great uh, descendants and Jesus's examples and, and his teachings throughout uh, the time when he was here on earth and then um, put them into play in your life. And then you'll see how it works. Um, uh, God is the great I am, uh, and, and um, that's his name, the great I am. And uh, it's cool. The, the first song that he ever gave me, a Christian song, was uh, Who Am I by Casting Crowns. And uh, it was inside a uh, – I didn't have anything, but I went and bought a radio or a disc, a disc, you know, the old uh, DVD ones or whatever, and it had that in there And when I bought it. And uh, it just really got me um, interested in Christian music. It just speaks to my heart. And uh, I love it because it um, – it glorifies God rather than most music doesn't. So it's really cool. I encourage you to listen to Christian music. I encourage you to read the scriptures every morning. And I encourage you to do acts of kindness for one another when God calls you to. And you got to listen. You got to keep your eyes open and understand those those opportunities will happen when and when you least expect them. And they're usually inconvenient. But it just helps us to, uh, to um, stop Look, listen, and uh, and then act on uh, through the Holy Spirit's help and through whatever we can do to help someone else in need. We 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 should take that opportunity as uh, Christians have been doing since the beginning of time. So fun message this morning, huh? Dan is really pumped up. Uh, anyways, uh, the Lord also gave Moses this promise. He said to him, "Assuredly, I will be with you, and this shall be the sign to you." that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God at this mountain. The great I am was about to act, and no one could thwart him because he always does what he says he will. God is, you can depend on him no matter what. He will do what he says he will do. He is reliable. He's good. He's he's strong. And he's trying to make you strong through your tough experiences asking you to lay down those those um, almost impossible circumstances and watch him take over and do it for you. And uh, he's the God you can count on. So when you read the Bible and, and, and you come across in a convicting passage and wonder how you could possibly do what it says, realize that the one who calls you to obey is great. He is great. He's the great I am. He's the, he's the creator of the universe. He is the, he's speaking to you. Do you understand how special that is? So, you know, you getting up an hour early and spending time in scripture before you go to school or, school or work or wherever, um, it'll be the best time that you ever spent. Um, he loves it when you get up before the, before the dawn. I, I, I get that. I, I think that's what Jesus did. So maybe you might consider that if you're an early morning person. Hopefully you are. Anyways, um, how do you like the message so far, Tucson and everyone listening wherever you are? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So uh, knowing all this, it should calm your fears and give you some courage. And uh, and so wherever you are in this world, um, know that the Lord promises his assistance if you just seek him and, and then you then you obey and, uh, and, and, and then you... Um, Lay it down and, and let him uh, show you what he can do, and he'll do it. He'll do it in the most amazing ways, and he'll never let you down, everyone. So um, that's our message this morning. Boy, oh boy, it was I talking the storm up, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it and maybe gather some of the um, enthusiasm that I have today. And uh, I'm I'm thankful for it. You know, you guys, are, it's it, you got to be joyful even when times are tough. And how do you do that without being fake? You know, and and. Uh, I'm just sharing a little joy with you this morning. Good morning, Tucson. Good morning, everybody listening. God bless each and every one of you. May God just shower his love upon you so that you'll have the strength and the uh, the desire to seek him every day of your life and then put all those great insights that are in the scriptures into play so that your lives will have meaning and purpose. Good morning, Tucson. Good morning, everybody. Have a great day.